Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the queen, the king of cups, and this is water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So we're seeing someone here who's patient, emotionally intelligent, sensitive, empathetic, uh, a very mature energy here. Um, this person has a lot of care towards you. They could have deep emotions and actual love, real love with this card. Um, there is an energy though of having control over their emotions. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the two of pentacles, earth energy, the seven of swords in the reverse, air energy, and we have the ten of pentacles, earth energy. So this person, they are very into you. You're a priority to this person and they want to make that known to you. There is an energy here showing that this person may not have been the most vocal about the depth of their emotion for you. Because with the king of cups, this can be someone who... Um, you know, they only show you what they want you to see when it comes to their emotions. They know how to control their feelings, but still waters run deep. And it looks like there's more beneath the surface when it comes to this person. So they could have kind of downplayed how much they care about you. Um, and with the seven of swords being here in the reverse, it looks like they're ready to open up about their, their emotions for you. This person views you as the one with the ten of pentacles. They see you as the one they want that happy, successful, long-term relationship. They're more committed than you may even know this is someone who's very invested here and they do see long term they do want that that solid kind of relationship there's an energy of security stability and they may view you as someone they want to grow old with um and with the two of pentacles you're you're, you're this person's number one priority so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So they really do see themselves having this happily ever after with you. This is someone who, who really wants that long term with you. They feel they found the one in you. You know, they, they feel this emotional fulfillment, and um, they love you. Okay, so let's see. We have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Three of Cups, Water Energy. So you could be getting some good news from this person, especially if you've been waiting for them to open up to you. Um, with this Three of Cups, we're seeing a celebratory energy. You could be going out with this person and they could be confessing their depth, the depth of their feelings to you. Um, there's this feeling of getting good news from them. And with the Seven of Wands, this person is protecting their relationship with you. They are defining the relationship. They are putting up those boundaries, giving it a title, a label. There is something about making this more exclusive, more official. And, um, you know, they, they, they really want this connection to be solid. With the Seven of Cups, you could have felt confused about where you stood with this person at some point. And it looks like there's an ending to that confu confusion. Some sort of clarity is being given here. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. Gemini. Okay, we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So they genuinely do want this relationship with you. They want security, stability. And you have this person's heart. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this is someone who is typically quite cautious and this could be why they were so slow to open up. It looks like this is someone who's starting to feel safe with you and they are arriving at that place where they want to confess their, their, the depth of their emotion. Okay, so let's see. Okay. 
Okay, we have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Okay, so they have pure intentions when it comes to you. So I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.